Hey everyone and welcome back. In the previous video we took a look at the Vapid Dominator FX based on the 1979 Ford Mustang. So in this video we'll be taking a look at the Canis Castigator which is based on the Jeep Avenger. So overall right from the design aspect, the wheels, the front face and the whole body profile everything is literally based on the real life Jeep Avenger. That is an EV or like you know hybrid stuff. So these two is kind of a hybrid and the headlight the face literally is like a ripoff from the real life version and yeah i mean literally everyone were asking for the jeep trackhawk but instead we got this look at that and also one thing guys take a look at how tiny this thing is look at how short and how small it is next to our gt online player take a look at that ridiculously comedic come on man literally everyone wanted the trackhawk but instead this is what we are receiving anyways this car too is not coming to gt online for a cheap price this is coming with a price tag of 1.65 million dollars so you're going to be spending 1.7 million dollars on this small ev it is kind of like a hybrid as you can see it has got two exhausts so you know how hybrid works so yeah interiors um pretty basic for a 2024 vehicle even in real life it is a fairly new vehicle so yeah it sounds pathetic anyways let's go see how it drives and performs this is basically gonna be a npc vehicle in gta 6 so yeah they literally had to do some you know filler stuff for this uh, dlc i guess that's why I had to fill this in i don't see like players going crazy you know or interested for this particular vehicle guys it's just an npc vehicle so nothing crazy and also the wheels are ripped off from the canis terminus so even that is not something new for this vehicle anyways let's go check out all of the customizations this car has to offer all right here we are first up is with the paint and for this i don't think i'll be spending too much time you know going in depth i mean it, i didn't do it for any of the other vehicles but still light blue actually does suit the car you know just like the real life version but yellow too does look good on this so all right we'll go with that for the secondary paint it changes the mirrors and I'm not sure what else it changes so i'll leave it with red for now so we can go and uh, check out later the stock wheels we can't paint them next moving on to the modifications time to quickly go through them I mean guys this is definitely not a rally vehicle or a vehicle that kind of you know has to gets equipped with these type of spoilers because this is a hybrid electric vehicle it it is a hybrid vehicle and it's definitely not you know for these sports themed SUVs so none of these actually suit the car this is literally a ripoff from the Mini Cooper that we received like two or three DLCs ago. So, yeah, it looks hideous on this vehicle. Huh. Moving on. Why would anyone get these in primary paint? I mean it looks hideous but hey why not right <laughs> my god everything is hideous on this vehicle what on earth is that I'm telling you guys this vehicle all of the modifications too sucks big time like these are ridiculous my god I mean I don't have any other option because you know just for the sake of the video I'll have to go with this I guess and 
the bull bar is just for the top nothing for the bottom <laughs> oh my god we have got mud guts okay no way man this is not an off-road vehicle this is an suv a compact suv for the god's sake I mean, if you're going to be going crazy with this, I think we could go with this one, you know. For some weird reason, the game kind of started to lag, so here we are. Anyways, moving on with the exhaust, we can't actually see much because of the bull bars. I'll we'll probably just go with the whatever the custom option is the stock one x fits much better but uh, yeah it can't go with stock so tuna seats yeah right so what literally is the theme of this car i really don't know anyways we'll go with that custom intercooler yeah we're gonna get bull bars, all these crash guards and everything, put up rally spec and then we're gonna open up the intercooler. Like seriously, it is gonna get hit with all those debris, rocks and everything. Like what were they even going with this vehicle? I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. They were like, okay, we'll just, you know, put everything into this. Is that what they were thinking? Like, look at this. These stuff do not even suit the car, guys. I mean, if it was the Jeep Grand Cherokee, not the Trackhawk variant, just the Jeep Cherokee, then all of these stuff would have probably suited on the car. But these stuff, they look hideous on this. My God. They seriously need to fire the guy who is responsible for all these. I guess I'll go with this, you know. Extended arches, okay, why not? We're doing everything else. Primary trim. Oh my god. Honestly, guys, in my opinion, this is probably the ugliest. DLC vehicle that we have received, including the modifications this car is offering us with. It's just hideous. We are getting roof scoops. Okay, quite a good amount of, you know, decent options. Roof box, yeah, it actually goes with this. I mean, we've got a roof lights, but why not roof lights with the roof rack? It would have looked so good. Typical rock star. They give one thing, they take away another thing. Alright, there we go. Those are all the customization options this car is coming with. 
not really happy with all of the you know, options that we have I could go with this stock one but just for the sake of the video we'll stick to the camo one for this because we have done these crazy off-road customizations with the you know off-road wheels bull bars and all those stuff so we'll just keep this for now and probably later we might remove it urban camo uh, no i think we'll just stick to the full camo one and uh, yeah those are all the customization options this car is coming with and actually once we change the exhaust the sound is much better than the stock one. And it also backfires, you know. The stock exhaust, no matter what performance upgrade we got, it wouldn't do that. So once we change the exhaust, it's actually backfiring. Pretty good. Alright, let's go check out the top speed of this car. And here we are. And... Uh, Let's go check out the top speed of this hybrid compact car that nobody even asked for. Hopefully it has good decent acceleration else people are gonna be really pissed off. We have crossed 100 miles per hour. 110. 115 miles per hour. 117. Not bad. Oh, we kind of hit uh, the sidewalk there. I mean, 117. The last two vehicles which we tested also came up to 117. So, what is going on there, Rockstar? Alright, let's do another final quick run. Crossed 110 miles per hour, 117, 120 miles per hour, freaking crazy guys, 122, what? Guys, the last two vehicles which we tested, the Mercedes Benz, you know, AMG Hammer as well as the Rapid Dominator which is the Ford Mustang, neither of them crossed the 120 mark, but this thing, you know, this compact SUV, hybrid SUV, this thing cross 120 miles per hour like what the heck this was seriously not expected at all like my god that was crazy acceleration and performance so yeah this actually blew my mind because the other two the sports cars those didn't come up with you know good acceleration but this thing did a compact SUV. <laughs> My god, that was freaking crazy. Anyways, that is the Canis Castigator, the Jeep Avenger. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments. Do drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure to stay tuned as up next we'll be taking a look at the Pegasi Pizza Boy. I mean, it's just for the work, but hey, let's check it out, right? Anyways, let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Do drop the video a like and make sure to stay tuned. Thank you all and have a good day.